welcome to the channel when you first start making use of this web application fold to p one of the problems you will definitely encounter is where to locate the custom shapes such as the arrows facebook icons and other shapes you will definitely struggle with this as i did how do you locate the arrows and other shapes scroll down and go for this rectangle as you can see right click on it it depends on the default this might be the default when you see it just right click on it or this one might be the default I believe the the default is always a, a rectangle so let's go ahead and uh, right click on the rectangle and go for custom shape you can see it up here shape click on the drop down loading you will see all the custom shapes so let's go and uh, experiment with one of the arrows here let me go for this when you click on that then click outside on the background just leave it as it is you don't do any adjustment here and click ok let's go ahead and transform this arrow to a desired shape if you go for here the move tool click on the move tool let me move it up here and then if you make use of this transform controls up here it will not give you it depends on the type of shape you want for me uh, i will show you how to do different things here you can see how it looks like but if you want to return the original shape and transform that you know differently let me show you what you can do as well i will go ahead and uh, remove the transform controls and uh, undo to get back see what more thing you can do with this make sure that the item is selected as you can see is highlighted meaning that the arrow is selected so what you can do is to go for edit and then scroll down to transform and go for warp click on warp here you can make it longer depending on what you want let me go ahead and confirm and drag it somewhere here and let me go back again to that transform and warp I can increase it okay let me go back again transform and warp so let me take this up this way so up This one up let me drag this you can see the shape that i just created you can see so you can use the warp function to create a shape to your test so that is it for the app now you can see we have a default here and this is the custom shape you can click on that and then click on the drop down let's go get maybe the facebook icon let's go get this and click on the background and okay so here we can right click and go give it a color let's go for 
something like this something like this will be fine you can give it a stroke of white so depending on your test you can go again and get something like um let's go and see what we have here give it a color and let's go for the last the last one android so you can search as well so you can see let me take this from here and give it the original color so that is it for this video i believe i covered what you are looking for and god bless you